Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Beauty in the Budget. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my debt updates for the month of July. This month literally just flew by. I feel like I say that every video, but I literally just did one for June and now it's August. So, wow, this year is just flying by. I don't know, but I do these debt updates every month. So I do have a playlist that you guys can check out. You can watch from when I started my journey all the way up until where I am now and just, you know, all the things that went on to get to this point. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get into this video. Um, also, if you're new here, I do work full time. I work Monday through Friday and then I also pick up shifts at an Amazon Fulfillment Center. So I do work two jobs and currently I'm using this money to just help expedite my payoff process. My goal is to be debt free before 30 and I'm currently 27. So I am on the road to do that. So without further ado, let's get right into these numbers. So as you can see, this is June. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill out July and I'm going to be right back. Okay, so I am back and I filled out my template. So now we're going to get into these numbers. So let's start off with Fed loans. As you guys know, our loans are still in forbearance until August, the end of August, I believe. So this stays the same at $40,336. And I saw on the news that they're actually looking into possibly delaying them more for a longer period of time with no interest or possible forgiveness. Who knows? We'll just see. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really betting on anything, but I am prepared to start paying this back if that does happen. Next is my Citizens Bank loan, which is my student loan. Um, I just refinanced. I was with Navy Federal and now I'm with Citizens Bank. And this one has gone down to $10,928, which is amazing because at the beginning of May, my balance was $17,000 and now I've reached, I'm so close. I'm so close to the 9,000s. I'm so close to like the, you know, the single digits. So I'm really excited. And next month is going to be that month. Hopefully I can make this happen. My current minimum payment for this is 336. But as you guys know, I do contribute a whole lot more than this, but this is an payment. And then lastly, I have my car loan, which is almost the same as my citizens bank loan. This is $10,612. And I've just been making minimum payments on this. So we can add this up. This should be the same as last month. So my minimum payments alone are $528 per month. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add up my totals for last month. So my current debt total is $61,876. Dollars. I am so close to the 50s like oh man I'm almost there okay so next I'm gonna get the total payments for the month so to do this I'm going to subtract last month's total with this month's total and that is going to show me how much I have paid off so that's going to be 64,400 minus the 61,876 so I paid off 2524 towards my debt so that is amazing. Next, I'm gonna get the total payments overall. So to do this, we gotta go way back in time where it all started. When I first started my debt journey, I started off at 82,916. So let's go ahead and put that in. And then we're gonna flip to where we currently are. And then I'm gonna go ahead and subtract that with the 61,876. So I have paid off a total of $21,040 since starting my debt journey. It's, it's amazing. It's truly amazing to see like what you can do when you really get gazelle intense and really put your mind to it. I never would have thought that I would be able to pay off this amount of money. And it's only been eight months now. It's only been eight months, almost nine months. And I paid off $21,000. Okay, so the last part is I'm going to go ahead and fill in my debt tracker. So I'm going to go ahead and 
get my new balance of 61,876 and I'm going to divide it to my original balance of 82,916. So now I have a decimal, multiply it by 100 and subtract by 100. So I paid off 25% of my debt and that is truly amazing. This is a whole new milestone for me. I paid off a quarter of my debt. That's crazy, that's insane. I paid off 25% of my debt. I paid off 25% of $82,916. Clearly my cat's excited if you just heard her run past. Like, oh my goodness. I paid off a quarter of my debt. Literally crazy. But I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my tracker that way I can get a visual of all the progress that I've made. So I'm gonna put this out. So this right here, sorry for the glare. This right here is my debt tracker. This is a tracker I've been using since starting my debt journey. And as you can see, it's in 2% increments because I have a lot of debt. So I wanna make sure that I see the progress. Um, I think I'm gonna be selling this on Etsy. I'm working on it. Um, I'm thinking about just making this available as a digital download so anyone can do it. Of course, it's not gonna look as janky as this one. <laughs> uh, I want it to look way better than this one, but uh, I'm gonna work on that and I'll give you guys more details once that is available. So as you guys can see here, unfortunately, I'm only gonna be able to fill up to the 24% because I paid off 25. So I do round down, um, I don't round up. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the 24%. All right, so that's basically it. And as you can see, I am moving on up. It is trucking along very well. I'm really excited to see like what this tracker is gonna look like once my student loan and my car loan is gone because those are the two debts that I'm working on right now. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna acknowledge the work that I've done so far and I'm very excited to see what's gonna happen in terms of my debt. And I feel like good things are gonna come to this. So great progress alrighty guys thank you guys so much for checking out my channel and checking out my debt update I'm really excited for next month because next month my goal is to put my citizens bank student loan below 10,000 and that's gonna happen I'm gonna claim it now I'm gonna affirm it please be on the lookout for a cash stuffing from me I finally got paid my overtime and I actually get paid for that on Monday so I will be cash stuffing that as well and contributing even more to my debt. So I'm really excited to see what my new numbers are gonna be. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye guys. You wanna be a part of the video so bad, what do you have to say? What do you have to say to the people?